So good day, all. Just doing Group 1 previews for Caulfield Guineas Day with the four Group 1s on Saturday. Thanks to topsport.com.au, we're going to have a look at the girls, the 1,000 Guineas over the 1,600, which is race seven on the card. I've got Trevor Lawson on the line. How are you going, Trev? Good, Mark. Uh, yeah, so having a, a look at the 1,000 Guineas is, is, is at least as far as the um, the market goes. It looks to be a racing two. Hungry Heart, $3.30. Uh, and instant celebrity with that short picket fence at three dollars forty for top sport. Everything else is in double figures. Uh, do you have those two well ahead of everything else? Uh, yeah, I have um, Hungry Heart, a clear favourite um, from um, instant celebrity. But I did think there was one value runner, which right. was uh, Angelic. I've got it um, around seven dollars fifty. So. Yeah, Angelic's ten. It's we should say it's it's Thursday afternoon where we're recording, so price is always uh, screwing a bit from here. But um, yeah, Angelic ten dollars with Top Sport at the moment. Yeah, so I thought it. Um, so it comes through the same race as Hungry Heart. It's on the quick backup. Um, Hungry Heart uh, was uh, was good last night. He sort of ran second. Um, yeah, I'm not sure whether this is an afterthought. It's sort of seven days later. Mm. Um, beating the Group One last start, it comes here and gets blinkers first time. Um, interestingly, Waller has a really good record um, on the quick backup mm. overall, yep. but but in Victoria, he's actually none. It's the, he's none from 16. Right. Um, if, uh, sorry, none from 14 in the last six years where. Overall, he's 11 from 64. So mm. um, it went good, but, you know, it is a backup. It can miss it. It is Blinkless' first time. He's drawn the inside barrier. Um, I've got a favourite, but I've got it like $4.20 favourite. Yep. Um, Instant Celebrity comes through. Uh, <clears throat> it's sort of the Melbourne form. It's the best of the Melbourne Phillies. Mm -hmm. But it's sort of it had the, you know, it was sort of, Williams went forward the other day when the pace slowed. He sort of got around them. It ran away from them okay, but it had rained during the day, but the times weren't fantastic. And it sort of beat, you know, personal. Personal was no star. Ecumenical was 50 to 1. It was sort of close up. Just not 100% sure about that sort of form. Okay. Um, so I was sort of stepped it, but I think, you know, I've got a twice the odd she is. Yeah. Uh, I thought the value in the race was Vangelic. Uh, mm. It was terrific. It's on the seven-day backup. That's uh, Gay Waterhouse and Adrian Bott. Um, Gay's actually done this before. Uh, a couple of years ago, Global Glamour won, uh, won this yeah, race. that's right. Yeah. On the seven-day backup from winning the flight stakes. So she's got a record of doing it before. Uh, this horse was terrific the other day. Uh, Len and... Um, Basically ran like tempo wise, you know, in class figures, it ran uh, seven lengths quicker than the par. Yep. But actually, in actual raw time, it ran its first thousand meters in fifty-seven seventy-six. Mm. So it's broken fifty-eight. You know, like it would win most thousand meter races. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's and troubling. It was still there and just sort of got tied the last bit. Mm. So I thought it was terrific. Um, and with the map. There's no hardly any speed in the race. Mm. Uh, yeah, I was going to ask should, you about the map. Um, so any uh, any of note? Not really. So the horses, are, it's drawn 10, but yep. um, the horses drawn inside haven't got a lot of speed. Uh, and I thought it would sort of cross all those horses. I think this Aiden's is Vangelic. Field, Vangelic, yes. Yeah, so I thought Aiden's field will probably go forward and Night Raid's got to go forward from the barrier. Mm. Um, but I thought, yeah, I thought it might be one that sort of, um, you know, each way, it, not really into each way, but it's sort of each way at sort of $10. It's got to straight um, to the front and then they've got to get past it. So. Yeah, yeah. So I thought it was definitely something to, um, you know, sort of look at. Mm. So, yeah, as you said, um, you've got the two at the top. Vangelic does look like the the value from your point of view. Um, just with top sort, there's also... Thermosphere at 13, Aiden's Field at 15. After those yeah, I thought top... Field was, oh, sorry, I thought Aiden's Field was value. Uh, yep. I thought it's going good. Looks like ready for the mile. It's had yep. 
just sort of third up. So I thought it was overs. I thought it was sort of a twelve dollar shot. Okay. Um, and then basically, I'm sort of you know longer price most of the others. Add to the rest. So yeah, as you, as you said, um, yeah, I've got Hungry Heart and, and Celebrity at the top, but it looks like there might be a bit of value Evangelic and hopefully able to reproduce some of those speed figures. Yeah, and I mean, it's just sort of, you know, you can back it, you know, $10, maybe $11, might get out a little bit. Mm. Um, and uh, you're going to be on the leader and you're going to get a run for your money. And, you know, um, when it, so it's not going to be a big outlay for, you know, a nice result if they can get the money for us. Yep. And uh, Brett Preble on board. Any thoughts there? He's uh, well travelled yeah. and obviously you got some huge wins earlier in his career. Yeah. Um, any thoughts? Yeah, on he's been around a long time. And he's, you know, he's uh, he's in the twilight now, but he's still yeah, he's a good rider. And I think what'll happen, he won't go too slow on this horse. I yep. mean, you just don't want to go too slow. And, you know, you sort of want to be. It's a bit like Goldilocks. You want to just right. You don't want to go too quick, like it did last week. You don't want to go too slow where you let the others sort of get into the race. Mm. But I think he's sort of smart enough to do that. He does a bit of riding for Gay. Yep. Um, so he sort of has sort of, you know, ridden a little bit. Um, but, you know, he's been a world-class rider for a long time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, good stuff. Um, we'll have a chat about a few of the other group ones as well. So we'll jump across to those videos now. <laughs> 